Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil and uh, in the last video of this Laravel e-commerce project, we completed the cart functionality. So you can see that this is working fine. So let's say we just want to buy this uh, Panasonic TV so we can add it in the cart. So now we have a seven and after adding this, this we have a eight product in our cart. So this is working fine. There is no problem. So uh, actually some of my viewer are just saying that uh, there is a no login and logout functionality. So please complete first it, right? So in this video, we will completing our uh, uh, login and logout functionality for that. These are the some points. First of all, we will make a login and logout menus and we will also need to make a logout route. We will show the username with the uh, when user is login, right? And uh, then we will complete our uh, test our all the complete functionalities like add to cart, login, logout, everything. And uh, at the last, we will push the code in the GitHub repository. So now actually uh, in the previous video, we have a error when we are actually trying to log out or we want to open it in the incognito window, then code is actually not working. Here you can see that we got some uh, error like typing, uh, trying to access the array offset on value of type null, right? It simply means that we just want to fetch the data from the database, but there is a no session ID and uh, nothing in the session. That's why this is not working fine, right? So what is the solution for that? Okay, so for that, you just uh, need to just jump on a header.blade.php, right? We just write this code in the previous video, but we did not check the functionality that the user is log in, logged in or not. So just take a variable like total and let's put here zero by default and now check there if session has user, right? Then it can add this functionality right then he can just fetch the data from database and now let's try to do it now this is working fine so if we don't have the, any product then there's a zero if we are logged out right and uh, if we are uh, trying to log in with the directly routing then it will uh, uh, working fine again right so let's say one two three four five And this is working fine. We have a eight product in the card. So let's close this incognito mode. We don't need it. So let's continue with our normal right, uh, normal board, right? So first of all, I'm just going to make a menu for login and logout. And for that, I am just going to help taking the help from the bootstrap. So just uh, right here, bootstrap three navbar, and click on any link, whatever you want to go, and uh, let's take any design that will just suit you. This is working fine for logout and username and all, right? So I am just going to copy this one, right? And paste it here. Like uh, you can paste it um, here. And now what you will just get here, you will find there one more menu is added here, right? So now let's check here if user is logged in that means if the shash, uh, the user data is present in the session then we will show the user is logged in and logout link will be there otherwise we will just uh, make a login link so just simply check here uh, at the rate if session has user right then what we can show here we can show this link Oh, my bad. Else, we can just put here else. Oh, just remove this. And uh, at the last, we can put here and if. And in this block, we can take uh, this kind of a link like here. And let's change the text here like uh, login and a link for this login page. Right? But now we are in logged in already. That's why we will not just not able to see the login link here. So uh, now we don't need these kind of things. So just simply put here logout and remove these two things. We will add the more menus after uh, some time for the change password and all these kind of things. But for a moment, this is fine. And now let's add here a username who whose user is login. So just simply put here 
session get and uh, here we can just uh, put here uh, user and uh, name and now you can see that the anil siddhu is logged in here but logout functional no, logout link is not added here so let's add a logout link also right but this url is not present for a moment so that it will just redirect us to the 404 page here you can see that right so let's just make a logout functionality again for that let's jump on a web.php right and you can just make a route like this like this right and just uh, simply put here logout and now in the return you can just uh, put here redirect on a login page right but before that because we are just going to log out to the user we need to uh, erase the session from the database right session from the our browser so we can just simply check here session and just use a forgot function forget function will erase the data and the key that we want to erase is user right and uh, now i think every should be everything should be working fine so here we have a login link we can login again so we are on a home page we can add the product like now you can see that we got a nine product we can log out from here like this right and uh, uh, we can just uh, again log in okay so just uh, simply use here like this one two three four five all right and uh, again we can add the products if you want like just go to the this link and add product and all right but uh, let's change this text to the brand to the ecom and let's a, add a here link here so that we can just go on the home right so again go to the uh, header dot uh, blade dot php and just write here ecom right and let's make a link here like this that's great so here you can see that we have a login functionality we can go to the home from here we can just uh, click on the product page if you want to add to card we need a login so that we can go again and login and again we can just come, come to this product we can add this product everything is working fine right so if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and yes guys actually i just created my uh, uh, instagram account here so if you just want to follow me the link is given in the description box and now just uh, add this code to the github link also so that you can just use it uh, log out and login done right git push so now code has been pushed to our github repository if you want you can use it link is given in the description box for this project also so bye bye take care and please subscribe my channel if you are not subscribed my channel yet again god bless you